Ja. 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 Good on uh, Yvonne, who's next? Thanks, Yvonne. And Shula will be after Yvonne, so, so I just want to do it in. Is that um, what creates the need to be inspired continuously? Yes. Good question. What creates the need to be inspired continuously is quite simple. Can you see it's almost the same as Glenn's question? Yeah, lack of desire. A lack of desire to be self-responsible. Yeah. You, you want others to be responsible for you. Yeah. You, see, you, have, you lack desire even to ha ha have your own desires. You want other people to just tell you what to do, to inspire you, to tell you what to do. So, so can you see being driven by inspiration is actually, in a lot of ways, quite a negative thing for your soul. Can you see that? Because you, while you're driven by somebody else's inspiring discussions, you, you frequently do not do anything about them because there's nothing inside of you saying, oh, I want to do that. And this is, this is where there's a lot of shift that has to occur to people hearing divine truth because at the moment they're still reliant on inspiration, but there's still no aspiration to do it. So that tells me that desire, they're not facing, coming face to face with desire. What are their real desires at the moment? Obviously, their real desire is to not do it, which probably matches the will, which is, I don't want to do it, right? Or, or which is, I'm scared of something, mm -hmm. isn't it? Like scared of emotion, scared of overwhelming emotion and so forth. So, so we need to relook at the second group if we are in this condition where we constantly need inspiration, constantly need inspiration. That's because we've yet to develop an aspiration to change, grow, or be close to God. So it's a bit like an addiction and it actually stops you from des developing desire. Yes, yes it does. And it also gives power to, to others. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it, it exposes you to gurus. Mm. And you think about your past life before you met me. Yeah. 20 That's years. 20 years of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Of gurus and stuff. Yeah, yeah so that, that's what exposed you to it, wanting to be inspired all the time, mm. not having the aspiration coming from within oneself to change. And not wanting to take self-responsibility underneath that. Yes, yep. wanting someone else to do that for you. So mm. you, it's reliant on somebody else's energy, actually. Mm. It's actually a sucking thing. Can you see that? It's like, yeah. I want you to supply my power for me. Mm. You know, a person who's in a state of desire doesn't do that. Actually, that's what Tony Robbins does in his business, is key directly to do that. Yes, so that yes. Want to no, most, back more. most gurus on the planet are getting power from spirits mm. and then they supply that power to any person that comes along and because most people who come along are in addiction, they will pay that guru many, a lot of things, money, homage, respect mm. and a lot of other emotions in order to continue getting that power from them. But, but none of that benefits the person themselves. Because I've not yet developed the desire. So, so what's happening is they're still living in harmony just with will principles and the desire principles are basically the, the, they're identical to their will principles. So, so what happens? What yeah. have you noticed all the Tony Robbins followers in the end? No change. After 20 years, have they changed? No. no, they haven't. Of course not. They can't because they're getting their... They're getting their addictions met. And which they're relying on, and they're giving their will to somebody else. So addictions matter is here. Yes. Which is two layers removed removed from your my own desires from desire. Mm.